This movie attempts the impossible. It's going to take you through close on 48 movies and it divided into 22 sections and subjects in about seven minutes. So get ready for the ride. If you are building a U-boat, it's absolutely perfect. A submarine is perfect. Any kind of scratch building, it's almost perfect because I'm going to take you through a whole lot of ideas and tricks and a whole lot of different things as we go. So let's go. Um, in this first section we obviously have this overview and I'll give you a quick picture of what it takes to assemble the boat. The second section though begins at the beginning and we go back to the hull build, um, how I cut that in half, how I refixed the top and then put a, a sheet of perspex in the middle of the boat which actually everything hangs off. The third section I take a step back and talk about how I designed it, the different ideas that went into how things should be uh, the way they are, how you should think about the ballast, the weight, all of these sorts of things. The final section in part three is a quick overview of how to build end caps and watertight cylinders. Section four is all about the motors and the props and the rudders and we get into fitting the uh, motor room and the lining up of the props and the shafts, uh, how to fit the hydroplanes and the rudders and building pulleys uh, for the drive mechanisms just using um, o-rings. The fifth section is a bit unusual to put here. I actually jump ahead of myself and take you through the trimming process, getting the boat so that it sits in the water, upright, submerges. So we jump ahead. And the reason I've done that is because it changes so many things when you put a boat in the water. You can design, you can think, you can construct as much as you like. You put it in the water and it bloody well falls on its side or sinks. So this is all about that process. The sixth section, uh, the process of, of making the rudder linkages, uh, building the hydroplane, and describes how the hydroplanes work and the fact that it's got a self-leveling device and the fact that it's uh, got a depth keeping device and how that works. Seventh section is about power, where we look at the motors, the speed controllers, the switch mechanisms, the V-tail that you know, gives differential speed to the motors the batteries and the motors themselves, my choice in that, how they work. Section 8, just a short section on wiring um, and how to join wires and some of the ideas that I had around that. Section 9 is about building the control room. Uh, it's really about the structural components of putting it together so that it fits in the most efficient way inside the boat. Now section 10 is about the ballasting system, as is section 11. There are three components to the ballast system, the pump-in, pump-out tank, the piston that sits inside it, and the trim tanks that run up and down. And then I spend a fair bit of time looking at the piston and how the piston works. Now, because I built the piston well before I started filming this, I built a gearbox from scratch. Uh, which will work a piston and, and, and you can see how to construct a, a gearbox very cheaply that will run a piston. Then I talked about a critical valve in the tank and then in ballast section 2 we look at the trim tanks tanks, and the pump that pumps fore and aft. Section 12, hull cladding. Now this starts with a section on preparation and then we start three movies cladding 1, 2 and 3 which talk about the, uh, the use of the aluminium flashing that I used to clad this boat with and how I punched hundreds and hundreds of holes and put in the rivets and all the rest of it. Section 13 is a standalone section on building the conning tower. It, it's, it's just an interesting exercise on how to build what is possibly one of the most complex pieces of modelling that you can tackle. And it's got to be strong and it's got to be light. Chapter 14 is about the building of the gun that goes on the bow, but not only that, but the fact that the gun squirts water. Chapter 15 is about wires, connectors and servos, 
and the stuff that I use and, and what seems to work and what didn't work in relation to water tightness, which leads into section, section 16, which is all about water tightness. Section 17 is on, on building all the railings and all of the silver soldering that went on and the finishing. Chapter 18 then is about putting the, the final detail on the hull, the rigging and then finally painting. Section 19 is then on weathering. Section 20 is on sailing the boat, how it works. It's an interesting issue that I built the boat, took it out to the, for, for its first sail and found it very hard to sail. It's simply because it takes a while to learn how to sail a boat like this. And then section 21 is on the tools that I use and the kind of stuff that comes in useful. Okay, we've skimmed over nearly everything. So, uh, it gives you an idea of the kind of stuff that I've done in relation to the build of this boat. And there's nothing else to say, so thanks. Bye.